well positioned to, to see the game out and things were looking good. What what was the what was the breakdown um, at the end? Just us being naive and not understanding what's dangerous, what's not dangerous. We just looked at the goal as a team. Um, simple mistakes. We should push the ball to their center backs. We should keep the ball in front of us. One of our forwards steps forward, allows the ball in behind us. Now they're breaking into midfield. We recover, no big deal. We have a center back chasing one of their players out on the wing, which actually vacates the actual space where the goal comes from. Just naive, just young and, and naive. Um, we need to do better, it's as simple as that. And it's tough because you put in a lot of work over the course of the week to come away with two points is dissatisfying to say the least. So um, it hurts, I hope it hurts all of us, but we need to be better. Does, does uh, Bill probably should have done better on that, on that shot? Is, does that raise the stakes in this goalkeeping situation now with the team? I mean, we need somebody to step up and make saves, bail us out rather than give up a rebound. Um, we're, we're giving up soft goals. Yeah, he should be able to push that rebound wide. Is it easy to do? No, but he's more than capable. Um, yeah. Sarah? for taking the time to speak with us. On a positive note, we definitely saw Edison pushing for that goal, it seems, for the past week. And tonight he finally got that opportunity. It was beautiful. So what do you feel was the tipping point that brought him here tonight? He's just been working his tail off. I mean, he's done a great job, especially over the course of this week. Um, I thought he was easily our most dangerous player against New York City. In the first half, he was running his tail off again. He got rewarded for that. Um, it's just good to see. It's good to see guys who are putting in good shifts and really working hard and doing a good job to get rewarded. But it was a great goal. Great ball by Michael. Um, just just an excellent goal. But, uh, yeah, sometimes it's, it's kind of shooter's mentality. It's nice to see one go in the net, and that kind of breaks the dam, and hopefully we'll see some more. Was that, was that planned to take him out at halftime because of the minutes? No. No, it's just tired. Yeah. 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 Worn out. Yeah. yeah. Sticks, was it? Yeah, speaking of the strikers, you had Strada, who's very active as well today. What did you see? What did you like out of what you saw from him today? And how much more important will it be to have him have more consistent play like that? Yeah, it's massive. When you have a big, strong guy like that that can hold up the ball, can get into the channels, start to run with the ball in the channels, it's, it's a handful, and it creates a domino effect across the defense, it opens other guys up. So when he's going down a wing, it's pulling a center back out, and that's what's opening up that middle for guys like Edison to make that run and get that goal. But yeah, I thought he played very well tonight. Other questions? Go ahead. How, so you, you mentioned soft goals earlier. Will that be one of the focuses or the main takeaways you're gonna get out of today when you prepare for New, New York this coming week? Yeah, I mean, you, you can't really prepare for, for soft goals. You just need to stop making mistakes. It's as simple as that. The first goal, we get caught on the ball. There's no way we should get caught on the ball in the area we get caught on the ball. We're in trouble. Just throw the thing in the other end and let's get organized and let's defend. The second one, again, like I just talked about in terms of what happened, will we work on our shifting and our defensive shape and all of that? Absolutely. Will we work on... Uh, late game situation, holding leads, stuff like that. We do that all the time. So, yeah, we, we need to stop making mistakes. Um, that That's a game we need to walk away with three points, and um, unfortunately we did. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Jeff.